Hello, my name is Vido Negele and I have my homepage www.candomblé.at and I invite you to look to my homepage and before we start I want to tell you something about the rhythm of Vasi and I play then uh, Vasi Lento and the rhythm of Vasi is played in most time in the beginning of ceremony, ceremonies if you play for example for Yeshu or I think also for Shango Aira because it's uh, it's uh, not fast played so to my mind it fits good for Shango Aira and it's I think one of the easiest playings uh, in Candon play but it's not so easy as, as you think so you have to practice and for this please look to my videos for practice so I give you some advices to how you could practice this and how you could perform and other things like uh, tuning the drums and playing with sticks and yeah, I have also made a soloing video for 6 8 rhythm because Vasi is a 6 8 uh, rhythm and I like and I prefer 6 8 rhythms. And in this video on my homepage and on YouTube channel, you could see how. Uh, some some phrases, some basic phrases are working and also some basic phrases of this video I'm playing here on the on the home. I have some uh, PDF uh, written down and you could download it on my home page. So because if if I'm showing to you Maybe it's not so easy to remember and you could print the notes and I hope you could read notes and yeah, there on my notes I have some maybe around 10 different phrases played on the hoon. I show you the basic rhythm here as, I, as you have seen in my videos before and the 6-8 bell and I have the Boss uh, loop station, I'm working with loop station because, uh, for example, if I, rec I record or I want to record and show you the 6 8 bell and then how it is connected with this. I have done it in other videos uh, before, and, but I'll explain it once again. So, I hope you have fun with Vasi and yeah, I hope we see us. Okay, this is the 688 <laughs> bell and I am playing it with the Gogo in a very slow tempo so you see and I count. Then you see how it works. One two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, hello. This is now the voice for the Le and the Umpi, and I play it very slow and I count. And in the beginning, I, uh, I'm playing a starting phrase, and this is just the two uh, eight triplets no notes of the bell, uh, the first two triplet notes. It's like this one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So 
I play this in the beginning and then uh, I enter into the rhythm and then the rhythm will flow. It's important to learn this starting because in some rhythms you have to start on this way, you have to change the rhythm and then play it on this way. So if you play it and everybody knows, then the tempo. And normally you have to listen to the bell, how it works. But learn this and always if you practice, start with this. Don't do an another way, start it then. Because it's a must. Now I'm playing the pattern. One, two, three, four. At the end I was playing an ending phrase and it's combined with the Hun ending phrase and also the bell player then have to play and I'll show you later. So now I'm playing the Lay and Rumpi rhythm with the bell, 6-8 bell. I have recorded the 6-8 bell with my boss loop station, so good way to practice and I'm, I'm starting the bell, play this rhythm together. So you see how it fix because the right hand always play in this rhythm, the right hand is playing a 6-8 bell rhythm and the left hand is playing the opposite. So it's normally if you if you start practice and if you start to try, maybe you play one uh, the, the first three triplets, then the second three triplets, and so and it's like like that, for example. Accents of the 6 8 patterns, of the 6 8 bell pattern, always if, if you have the two uh, 6 8 uh, triplets, then, then you, you play an accent like that. That's, that's, the, that's the point. So if you remember the, the bell, so you have da, da. So these are the three beats of the accent. So now I start to play with the 6-8 bell. One, two, three, four. If the hum player is playing the end phrase, everybody knows now it will stop, so the bell player also have to stop. Okay, this is the Lea and Rumpi phrase. Okay, now we are starting with the hum phrases. And the basic beat of the hum is uh, that you are playing here the 6-8 bell rhythm and here some variations. 
and yeah, there is one exercise because the left hand is only playing dips in this exercise and then uh, the basic rhythm as a I've seen on my PDF file. Uh, it's playing a combination of dips, open and bass. And on a special place. <laughs> so it's in the beginning it's hard because it's unusual. But uh, it's a really nice rhythm. So I think it's a good way to learn Vasi on this way. And the first exercise, I didn't write it down, but first of all, uh, yeah, you have to look to my video for the 6 8 soloing video. It's a German uh, language video, but you see how I'm doing there for the main uh, phrases or possibilities to write the 6 8 bell pattern. And if you start here, then now we start with dips, with the left hand and only the triplets. So I count very slow, so you see. And that's what you are playing also in the basic Vassi beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the next step is to play it together with the right hand, and the right hand is playing a 6 8 bell pattern. So I wrote it down, so this is the first exercise. One, two, three, four. So the next step to develop your style and, and uh, the play is to play here the 6 8 bell and here only the open accent. 1, 2, 3, 4. So hello, this is another day, where are the clothes <laughs> because when I was looking to the video I record, I, say, I see I was making, not a mistake, but I didn't play something I told you and it's not what I have written on the paper, so my good, good, good teacher Tudududji would be saying Konzentrasau! It means to be concentrated on what you are doing and that's very important if you are playing to be concentrated on what you are playing and what you are doing. Stay here, not there. Don't think too many things. Think on what you are playing. So be focused on what you are playing. And that's uh, what I want to tell you. And it's also a matter of how long you play something. So you have to be concentrated on what you are playing and maybe if you play, as I was telling in other videos, the rhythm for more than 15 minutes, you have to stay on the hook. Okay, now I'm trying to play it. One, two, three, four. So, now you have all the elements, so 
I'm playing the Vasi basic beat. Yeah, and so it works. One, two, three, four. So now I show you the Bassi and with my boss loop station uh, I have record uh, 6 8 bell so you see how it fits and then next step is to record this here the Lee and the Rumpi and then with the 6 8 bell but now 6 8 bell record and the Bassi So the next step I told you before is to start the boss and it's the 6 8 bell then to record this and to play here the basic Vasi beat. So and this is how in the most time in the ceremonies the beats begin. Maybe somebody is singing, then the bell is entering and then these drums are coming and at least the moon. Okay, so we try to start. So this is solo one, don't play always solos, play some basic beats, then one solo phrase or two phrase, 
go to the basic beat again because otherwise you confuse the people if they listen and dance. Okay, so we start the 6 8 bell. Okay, this is the solo phrase number two, or solo two phrase, so I start the bell. Okay, this is solo three. So this is solo number four. This is solo number five. This is solo number six, it's almost the same as before, 2-4. 
just a heel dip movement. Okay, this is solo phrase number seven. This is solo number eight. So this is the next phrase, uh, it's for greeting the wishes, <coughs> if the dancers for example come in, for example if I play a shoe, then they will come into the room, then you play this phrase, maybe two bells or one, six, eight bell pattern or four, it depends on you, but now you see how it works. Okay, this is the ending phrase and normally everybody has to know this phrase and you could uh, play it in every 6-8 bell pattern and they play it if you hear it sometimes a little bit different and I'll show you now and everybody has to stop these players, they you know it and the bell players but I can't do it with uh, the boss because the bell is running, so yeah, it don't work. One, two, three, four.
So the movement is always the same. Once again. Or you could play 